All right, let's look at part two of the question. It says express BC, BC in terms of M and N. Well, we know. Hmm. Let's see how that will go. Here, this is BC in terms of M and N. What we could do is say BC is a vector here. It's a resultant of adding other vectors. So, being that that being the case, remember, you have a polygon, a polygon of vectors. When you add the individual vectors, they follow each other around the polygon. And then the resultant opposes those vectors. So, B to C. What I did here was to draw the arrows. The arrows on B, C. Uh, probably I need to improve the way I draw the arrows. Let me use this to represent the arrows. So, this is one arrowhead. And this is another arrowhead. Because you represent... You, are, you, 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 you draw two arrowheads on the resultant while there is only one arrowhead on the individual vectors that you are adding. Now let's see what's going to happen here. BC. B to C goes this way. If you are going to add the other vectors, you are going to say that M, this B A is going to add to it. You don't go from A to B because you would be following the resultant vector as you walk around the polygon. Saying going A to B would be following the resultant. You don't want to do that. So you go B to A, go in the opposite direction. But the thing now, B to A is negative M because M is going from A to B. So the inverse, which is negative m, goes from b to a, up here. So, bc is negative m plus, what happens here now, you go a to d, is in the direction of n, so you don't need to change the sign of n. It's plus n plus, then you have, as you go around, dc is 3m. And you you have no problem with the directions. You don't have to change it. So you maintain it. What's going on? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. So you maintain the 3M here. So. 3M. When you put everything together. Oh. Let me put the arrow head above BC. So putting everything together, BC is negative M plus 3M is what? 2M. 2M plus N. 